So the next thing I wanted to show you was how I use the CA2A to parallel compress the entire mix. So here's my parallel compression chain right here. I have the U-type and I have the CA2A right here. Uh, here's my master bus right here, and that doesn't have any compression on it, just a little bit from the S-type. So the mix is going through both channel strips in parallel, but one of them is a little bit louder than the other, and the other one is really crushing the signal. That's what the CA2A is doing right in here. So let's take a listen to the whole mix right now as it is. Now I'm going to mute this track. So using the U-type and the C-type, I've really, really crushed the entire signal, almost to something that isn't even listenable. When you're using it in this context, it you know, you gotta kinda play with what sounds good with your mix. Right now I have a fast reset on the photocell memory as well as the R37 knob set to 50%, and that sounds pretty good for this. So you can see that I'm really crushing it right here, but the volume level's set really low because I'm just mixing it right underneath the master fader. So, now we'll unsolo that and I'll show you what it sounds like. And I'll mix it in gently. Mute it. Unmute it. Mute it. Will her eyes flutter open before the rooster crows? Puts her feet. So you can see that with just a little bit of parallel compression, you can make your overall mix sound really good just with a CA2A and some advanced routing.